Okay, in this video, Saturday Night Solo Cop Watch Part 2, which I uh, came up after a man had been tased and arrested for trying to stop a, another drunk driver from uh, running people over, the homeless under, under the bridge, uh, driving erratically, driving violently, and the police did a DWI stop and uh, uh, let the man go and then lied about the arrest. Watch this. citizen that got tased and arrested for what assault on property they'll probably drop those charges but yeah. like you don't you can't drop the tasing yeah, you can't. Tasing, that, that's what i said it. i'm yeah. like that dude's gonna be traumatized yeah there's he trauma trauma by cop tased and he shouldn't have been tased he's defending his life and i told these cops that but they don't understand and then they shoved you you know which yeah. cop shoved you Driving his offense to him. That's a long description. Well, you yeah. They kill people. You're they're but they're jail. homeless people. So, you know, it's like if, it if a dead hooker ends too. up, it yeah, was, it was also, also you. Too. Well, apparently there. they don't care about lives. Apparently. I mean, I wasn't if it, here okay, when it escalated. Let's say, let's say that, this, that there was a cop sitting over here on his bicycle and that guy almost ran him over. How many cops would be here now? What, who would be arrested if we, they'd be talking to him right now? Yeah. No. He'd have been beat the shit out of. They'd add a hundred cops down here. So their lives matter more than us, but we pay them to protect our lives. Yeah. They so they have no sense of duty at all. They should be second class citizens. Yeah. The cops are second class citizens. They should act like it. No. Well, They're supposed to be our They've got their master's qualified immunity. So the like you know the president's got sovereign immunity. The courts have uh, uh, another kind of immunity, and then the the cops have qualified immunity. Well, so I want diplomatic immunity because I don't live in my own country anymore. The people are this is my country, and the people that run it, are, and, and we don't vote for any of them or select any of them, or have any control over any of them. Yeah. Um, one percent of the population of the earth is controlling all the rest of us. Yeah, so I want diplomatic immunity. Why can't I have immunity? Right. Everybody here's got immunity. You know. The first time I ever learned about diplomatic immunity was actually in the movie Lethal Weapon. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. That, remember they were like doing all sorts of stuff and they couldn't do anything about it. Laundering money and they were yeah, laundering I never, drugs. I mean, that was when I was eight years old, baby. And that was the first time I heard of it. Got unit one eight one three. It looks like over there. So I know several homeless people that live under this area, and there's probably twenty or thirty people under this bridge. Tomorrow they're going to have the church under the bridge for the homeless, and um, so this is basically church. This is supposed to be um, a little bit of sanctuary based off that non-denominational sanctuary, I believe. This is my favorite. Hear about this? I'm walking back. Okay. Yeah, I was done. I've already filmed so many things. So you got lucky. Yeah. Well, so y'all got lucky. I'm here because well, yeah. like shit would escalate without me here. 
Yeah. They, they would be a lot more arrests. I wish you were here when I showed up. I wish you were filming with your cell phone. I, I should have. It would have kept you from getting shoved. iPhone. Yeah. I'm gonna, I need to start thinking more. I mean, I'm not thinking, but... Sometimes I just put I'm it in not, my pocket like I'm this. technology savvy. savvy. Yeah, but you can like take a selfie, man, right? You can take a selfie. So. I don't face don't take, ground. No? Okay. Well, I'm just saying that a lot of times, before things get out of control, I like to have a video going yeah, before smart. I make contact so that I can see how it was. We were just talking and then it went crazy. Because yeah. a lot of times, by the time, when I first started, by the time I got the video on, yeah. I, I was only to the escalation point. I want, yeah. you know, I needed to show what was happening before then. You know, by the time I'm yelling and he's yelling, it's too late to like start videotaping. Do you mind if I get your number? Sure. Yeah. Or you want my my uh, YouTube channel? Uh, or do you want what do you need my number what's for? A YouTube channel. YouTube? I'm not savvy it's with video that. channel on the internet. I feel like I like to be an activist. The yeah. I get. Well, if you want to come film with me, I'll give you my number. I would love I to. I go out on weekends it. usually, or if there's a big event. I would honestly love to. I feel like I'm really getting into being an activist. Well, it's out of necessity. Want to jump. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely deserve to go. Well, I think that there's too much accountability going on for them to get loose. I mean, I mean why they're looking at his eyesight now, like an hour after? They're, makes no sense. they're developing their case. If you haven't been drinking at all, you can blow, but their shit may be wrong and you might get arrested anyway. Yeah. Um, and even people that blow get blood in Mexico County, Travis County, get arrested so they can have quotas. Yeah. So I've got several friends that I know that are fought or are fighting DWI cases where they weren't drinking at all, where they got 0.00, 0, 0, 0 and their blood was negative, but they still got arrested because it's the process, they want to get their collars. Um, so yeah, the more that they can do to him, they, the, the stronger the case is against him in court. But in this guy's case, he deserves it. Female officers watching me. <laughs> Dude, I've been through that stuff before. You all right? Your neck all right? Back? I'm going to chiropractor three times a week. I got a good one up north, living healthy chiropractic. He's uh, on Anderson Lane, Anderson Road, whatever. Anderson Mill Road, that's what it is. It's a little far north, but he's a good guy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he's really good. And he's anti-drug and anti-surgery. I don't like chiropractors that are like... Uh, are for painkillers and yeah, for. They, I had no recommendation of painkillers or anything like that. Yeah. So I'm actually really happy about it. Oh, yeah, this guy's going the wrong way. <laughs> Where did she come from? She's a little bit the woodwork. Shops are moving. Do not talk to the cops. Do not feed the monkeys. <laughs> Dude, they just they, see they they can't search your car without permission, but they can look in. The courts have allowed them to look in. If they see anything, then they can act without a warrant. It gives them probable cause. Yeah, even in your house, there is none. Just the word. See how it works? The whole system's rigged. The cops would never lie or plant evidence. Even though the FBI says it happens all the time and the, and the police are racist, they, the FBI just came out with a statement saying the police are, American police are, have racial issues. Yeah. <laughs> the FBI, who killed MLK, RFK, and JFK, they said that they have racial issues. They would know, they're experts. Dude, he's like trying to get on the phone. Oh, no, no, not good. Not good. I'm missing this guy's stuff over here. Yelling at him. Too much going on. <laughs> right, I'll let that guy go with a um, spanking. 
this guy here, he's arguing with them. Yeah, because they see this shit all, all day long and, and worse to them. And actually, I'm trying to like defend the homeless against the police more than the people that can afford a lawyer. So yeah, it's kind of uh, cutting edge, um, a controversial, radical. I guess radical would be the term. And any abuses, we could get, we could do complaints. We can like maybe get them lawyers to do yeah. pro bono work. We can do a lot. But sure. when it happens in the dark and there's no video, it's just rewards against the cops. And the cops' cameras worthless. They're not going to tell you. They're not going to present evidence against themselves. They doctor. They doctor evidence. The city doctors evidence. Think, things have changed. Things start real strong, and then yes. things change. They're letting them go. No, I've heard that They're too, so that makes sense. This dude could not drive. Yeah. No way. Somebody has to file, like, some kind of charge. What are they videotaping? Oh my god. Oh, for the guy they arrested. So, they can, I don't think they can arrest both of them, right? One guy's defending himself, so one has to be the perpetrator, one has to be the victim. Okay. They're going to make this guy the victim? Is that what they're going to do? That would be ridiculous. That's, I agree, that's our police department. Of. So there's a big old scratch on the side where he hit something. It could be recent or it could be older. He's having a cigarette. Can you imagine having a cigarette? Didn't uh, Sandra Bunny get killed for smoking a cigarette? Cigarette? She died in custody. First, she was smoking a cigarette during a traffic stop in uh, uh, down south near Houston, uh, uh, Hempstead, I think it was. And uh, by the time, by the next day, she was found hung in her cell, supposedly. But the cop beat her up and stuff, and then she went to jail, supposedly. They, I think they killed her. But she was smoking a cigarette, wouldn't stop. She was black. Just trying to document damage. So I see fingerprints on the Document side. Damage damaged by homeless people. Yep. Homeless people trying to defend themselves from getting hit by a car. Well, the hippie guy. That's true. Maybe he's just You might insane. not even know. Like, alcohol, when you're doing enough alcohol, you cannot remember what you did. Oh, of course. He's got to keep that smoking cigarettes more and more. What is he? They're just going to hand him some shit? If he runs out to go buy some for him. Right. The Rollerillo form or whatever it's called. We'll even roll this for you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to try to talk to them about anything? Uh, I think I've done all the talking, but... They're they, not listening? Yeah. It was all... He's all smiles, though, isn't he? He is all so smiles. full of yes. shit. He oversees people getting beat up and says he didn't see anything. He was sitting on one guy. I got this on video. It's online. He's sit, or actually, I think I maybe not posted it yet. I think it's online. Anyways, he's sitting on the guy's feet. One of the other, he's got like three or four officers on this guy. He's just a black guy walking across the street, at, yeah. you know, at like 2 a.m. Like normal, normal shit. And but he's black, and so they're beating the shit out of him in the face, the head and the neck. And then he's like, I didn't see anything. Uh, I wasn't even there. And I'm like, okay, okay, because it's like gonna go online. <laughs> but nothing happens video they're like no nah, no nah. well the IA is supposed to be asking for all my video right now so they keep they call me like three times Friday yes, uh, yeah. internal affairs so I, I do complaints I follow through and I'll do court cases if it's related to me so I mean I'll even see I'm in federal court now okay. they're looking for witnesses real quick. Yeah. they're gonna go find a witness 
That right there is blood. Looks like they're looking for something. Sergeant Stansfield's over there interviewing the homeless lady. Another witness. I think what next time I need to do with the uh, trollers that don't know their rights is I'm just going to uh, say, okay, no problem, and I'll just like lower my camera as if I'm not filming and continue to film. Um, comply and lie with trolls. Uh, comply and protest with cops. That's how I think I should roll. What the hell they're looking for. They're helping the guy look through his car. How sweet. How very sweet. I don't know what they're looking for. They're helping him. Uh, maybe they're looking for a cell phone. That's what I was thinking. He's got a cell phone. Him even in the driver's seat. Dude, he's still driving around in circles. And he's drunk. <laughs> you can't believe it, right? Is that where is he at? Is that him? There he is. There he goes. He's driving on his cell phone too. Nobody cares. Just another day in Austin when someone tried to kill the homeless. I just saw him drive away the truck. Not that guy. Oh, definitely. That wasn't the driver? But who was the driver? That was the driver. Then who's the other person? It was a disguise, right? So who did they arrest then? The guy they tased, right? The guy they, yeah. They arrest the guy they tased. The hippie guy, traveler. But he wasn't driving. He was not. He was doing the beating. So who he else was, was in the, the truck be, 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 besides that guy? The only person that I know of, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, is the one girl. Oh. She might have been driving. Or that, not this girl, but another girl? There was a girl in the back. Told that she they was telling... Her? They arrested her first and they let her go. So they haven't arrested anybody? They, haven't, they didn't arrest anyone other than the guy, the hippie guy. Jesus. They tasered him and then arrested him. But they're incompetent. But they didn't taser the drunk driver who tried to kill her. Maybe I can get an incident number from him. They only tased the hippie guy. Stansfield around. Ridiculous. You're right, it's ridiculous. You should call me, we should film. This no, sounds like dude, fun. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to start a crew up. Because, like, if someone's covering my back, I'm a lot safer. <laughs> Maybe we need to train the police to do something besides what they do. The training has failed today. Let me just make sure I got your number right. For sure. Yeah, yeah. looks like it, man. Uh, and you can text me anytime. Uh, I'll text you tomorrow. Come on, man. I think I'm going to go to sleep. I'm getting yeah. kind of tired. Get out of here before these guys bother you. Right. I'll be alright. Uh, cheers. Alright, cheers. Be good. They let him go. So supposedly they let dude go because he's upset because his friend got hit in the head with a brick a little while ago when he's at the hospital. So that gives him the right to jump Was in Does it car. have anything to do with this? No. Yeah. So. So that gives him the right to run around, jump in his car, and run try to hit seven, seven or eight thousand people. Drunk. His car, drunk. Right. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. They said they arrested the driver, and he wasn't the driver. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's what the other guy said. They only arrested the hippie guy that tried to stop him, right? Yeah. Yeah, and taste him. But at least this guy's not going to jail. He's getting EMS. All right, man. I'll tell you what, I really love people of Austin. They really have heart. And when you freaking give up on them, sometimes they're going to show you that they really care. Let's go film the police guys. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.